So this is how I tie my Hero Rotches. First of all, I'm making sure that my lace is long enough. And I check this approximately by wrapping it around my foot like this, and then three to four times around my ankle. It's better to have too much than too little. I knitted this lace with some leftover yarn, and it's very comfortable. I barely notice that I'm wearing it, but you can use whatever you have at hand. One end is tied with a knot, and the knot will wear out eventually. So that's why it's a good thing to have an extra long lace. So when the knot gets worn out, you can just tie a new one and then cut off the excess material. I wanted to make my sandals with whatever materials we had at hand. And I purchased this leather like five years ago, but I never used it. So it was pretty perfect for this endeavor. It's very thin, which has its own advantages. It's very flexible and it adapts easily to my feet and I can still feel the sensations of the ground beneath my feet. But a thicker sole will probably last longer, and act more steadily and provide more protection if needed. If you want to watch the whole process, I will leave a link in the description below. Anyway, this is how I tie the lace. To be able to show the process better, I was sort of standing on my toes while tying the lace. But it's definitely better if the whole foot is placed on the ground, otherwise it can easily become too tight.
just my very first attempts at making sandals, but I'm so thrilled about it and I can't wait to experiment more with making shoes in the future. If it ends up being too tight or too loose, I either redo parts of the process or adjust it bit by bit. feels comfortable, I tuck the tail and it's ready to wear. Also, it's easy to take off and put on again and I don't have to tie it every time I wear them. Maybe you have some experience making shoes or maybe you feel like trying it out as well. No matter what, feel free to leave a comment below and share your knowledge and experiences as well. Thank you so much for watching.